Hello everyone, this video is an additional video for my crochet baseball hat organizer pattern. Feel free to visit my blog happyheartsy.com where you can find this pattern for free or go to my Etsy shop where you can get ad free and printable pattern for a low cost. I hope you like this pattern. If you'd like to stay in touch with me, feel free to subscribe to my channel or follow me on my Instagram or Facebook. And now let's crochet! Alright guys, so now let's start uh, to crochet the baseball head hanger. Uh, so for that we're gonna need any uh, cotton yarn. So this one is White Off from Bernard Handicrafter. I love this yarn. I love to use it for any decoration uh, decoration project. So I have this one, but of course you can uh, you can use any as far as it's like a four weight or the um, or the worsted yarn. Uh, I also use five millimeter hook. You're gonna need a wooden double scissors, of course, yarn needle to weave in the ends, and I would also recommend uh, the stitch markers, but of course, it's an optional, uh, so it, it's not uh, like a mandatory. So now let's uh, get started. So uh, for this pattern, I decided to do uh, alpine stitch. Uh, so uh, how we start alpine stitch is with the double crochet row. And now we have two options how to start. So it's either you start with the uh, foundation double crochet, uh, which means that you do foundation chain and the first row all at once, which I would actually highly recommend to learn that because there are many benefits uh, of uh, like uh, doing this technique. So feel free to visit the link in the description where I have uh, this video just for this technique where you can also learn how to foundation single crochet, foundation how double crochet. Basically, once you learn that uh, and figure it out how to do it, you can do it with uh, any stitch. But for this tutorial, I'm going to start with the foundation chain and the uh, first row separately. So like I mentioned before, the Alpine stitch, uh, we start with the double crochet row. So also you can actually play around with this uh, pattern because uh, as you can see on the pictures, uh, you, can f you can see that the left side or the right side, it depends whatever side you would choose. It's uh, a sign for the, for the glasses, sunglasses. But if you don't like that, you can actually make it a little bit smaller just for the baseball hat. So now I'll give you two options. So you can either start with the 27 foundation chain, which means that you will do it just with the baseball hat. And if you also want to have that little bit more space for the sunglasses, then you start with the 37 foundation chains. So uh for this uh pattern i mean uh we should get a uh, even number of the stitches so now let's start it so we can start with the 27 foundation chain or 37 or if you decide to do uh, the foundation double crochet then you can do either 26 foundation double crochet or 36 foundation double crochet so now I hope that it makes sense. So once you're done with that, just uh, come back and I'll show you what next. All right, so now let's start with the foundation chain. So now you have to do the slip knot and do the yarn over, pull up the loop, yarn over, pull up the loop, yarn over, pull up the loop. So this is how you create your foundation chain and you uh, make the number that you'd like. All right, and for this tutorial, I'm, I just decided to make just the shortened version because uh, that's all what we need. It's actually very uh, easy pattern. It's just only in one stitch. So I make uh, I made 15 uh, foundation chain. It's an odd number. You should have odd number two. So now what we're gonna do now we let's start with the first row and we do the yarn over uh, and we gonna insert the hook into third chain from the hook so we don't count the loop on our hook as a chain but we count the uh, chains whatever it's below so this is one two three so i do yarn over before i insert the hook insert the hook into the third chain yarn over pull up the loop i have three loops on our hook yarn over pull up the loop through first two loops yarn over pull up the loop through the uh, last two loops so now we made our first double crochet uh, those two chains skipped. Uh, it also counts as a first stitch or like a first double crochet for the row. So don't forget to count this one 
as a first stitch. So now let's start with the next one. So we do yarn over, insert the hook into the next chain, which is right this one. Uh, yarn over, pull up the loop, yarn over, pull up the loop through the first two loops, yarn over, pull up the loop through the last two loops. So now we made our third double crochet. And this is what you repeat until the end of the row and you should get even number of the double crochet. So whatever you decided, it's either 26 or 36. Depends what version you wanted to, uh, you wanted to do. So now let's just start uh, or just finish uh, our double crochet row. All right, so this is my uh, row and I'm almost done. I just have to make my last double crochet, which is right here. So now you should have even number of the stitches. Don't forget to count uh, this one, uh, which is the, the, the two chains skipped at the beginning because it counts as a first double crochet. So we count that one too. So now you get either 26 or 36. Now we are at the end. So now we make chain one. And this chain one counts only as a turning chain. So we don't count it as a first stitch for the next row, only a turning chain. And now in every stitch, which is like in here in those loops, we make single crochet all the way. So now we insert the hook not into that turning chain but into the first stitch so we insert that hook and we don't do yarn over or anything it's just a single crochet so we insert the hook into the uh, stitch yarn over pull up the loop we have two loops yarn over pull up the loops through those two loops so this is our single crochet so again insert the hook into the next stitch yarn over pull up the loop yarn over pull up the loop through two this is our single crochet so now this is what we repeat until the end of the row and don't forget to uh, make your last single crochet into that uh, two skip chains when we uh, before we started the first row so i'm almost there so i'll show you right away because uh, that stitch it's quite very like easily <laughs> um, forgettable. So uh, now I have last two. Uh, so this is uh, my la. I mean the single crochet here. And now those two skip chain, which counts as a first double crochet of the first row. So in that top second one, we insert the hook and make our last single crochet. Now it's a good time to actually recount or like count your stitches. If you have the same number because for the entire project or the this pattern you should have always the same number of stitches so once in a while it's actually not a bad idea to count it again and just make sure that you didn't uh, skip any or you have just like the same number so now we are at the end of the second row and now let's start the third one so now we are at the end and we uh before we turn the project we're gonna make chain two turn like a book page and those two skip chain again counts as a first double crochet for the next row all right so whenever we are we end our single crochet row which is gonna be every even number of the row we always gonna do the single crochet row at the end we always make chain two and that counts as a first double crochet because now we're gonna make double crochet too but it's quite, it's gonna be a little bit different so now you can see our first row of the double crochet right here and now we will be uh we will be alternating our regular double crochet into the single crochet row in the single crochet stitch or front post around the double crochet stitch so now this is our first double crochet here and around the next stitch which is next double crochet stitch which is this one we're gonna make front pose double crochet so we again we do the yarn over and now we insert the hook between the first and the second basically around the double crochet and the double crochet is in front of our hook so we can see we can see the double crochet there 
Now we do yarn over, pull up the loop through that and now make it a little bit loosened. So we actually gonna get the same, like a height uh, of the, we just have, gonna have to pull it a little bit longer. And then yarn over, pull up the loop through the first two loops, yarn over, pull up the loop through the, uh, the last two loops. So this is what we did and now you can see uh, how it looks. So we always have to make it a little bit, uh, pull a little bit more when we do the front post double crochet so we can actually uh, make it uh, the row pretty straight. Because now into the next stitch, we're gonna make a regular double crochet into the single crochet row. So it's this one. So in the next stitch, we're just gonna make the regular double crochet as we know. So it looks like that. So now you can see that you have one double crochet like pop up and one it's going to be a little bit in the back. So now let's do the front post again into the next stitch. So now you see that the, this double crochet is like connected to this one. So into the next stitch is this one. It's this, uh, it's this uh, double crochet from the previous row. So we again do the yarn over. And now again, we make that stitch in front of our hook, which is the front post. Yarn over, pull up the loop. We're gonna pull a little bit more. And now we're gonna finish it as a regular double crochet because now you see we have three loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull up the loop through the first two. Yarn over, pull up the uh, loop for the last two loops again. So now you can see that it we are getting a little bit, <laughs> slightly, uh, the texture of it. So now you can see uh, how it looks. And now into the next stitch, which is this one, we're gonna make the regular double crochet and uh, then it's gonna be front post double crochet. So let's make this the regular one. And now we will make around this one, next double crochet, next stitch, the front post double crochet. Again, don't forget to pull, uh, pull the loop a little bit more. So here it is. Now into the next stitch is the regular double crochet. And this is what you're alternating until the end of the row. The front post double crochet and the regular double crochet. So now I have my last two uh, stitches. So now I make my regular one. And now what I do, so now I'm just about to make my last double crochet and I'm gonna make it actually around the last one. So it's actually the edge uh, looks actually very nice, the side of the project when I do it. So I do yarn over and I will just do the front post around this last double crochet. So exactly how we did it before, it's just the only difference is that there's no stitch next to it. So this is my last uh, front post double crochet. And it uh, the third row, it looks like that. And now let's start with the fourth one. And because we are at the end and now, like I mentioned before, every even number of the row is in the single crochet. So now we make just uh, chain one. It's only a turning chain, not a stitch. Now we just turn the project. And now we make in every stitch, we make single crochet until the end of the row. And again, don't forget to make your single uh, crochet into those two, cha the two chains uh, that we always make uh, after the single crochet row. Uh, so, because that counts as a double crochet. So now let's make the single crochet in each stitch. And again, if you're not sure, you can count your stitches uh, and you should have the same number. So it's going to be either 26 or 36.
All right, so now I'm above the end. So this is exactly the two chains that I make uh, after the single crochet row. So I just insert the hook into the top second one and make my last single crochet. So this is how it looks. This is the wrong side of the project. And now let's uh, do the, f the fifth, actually already the fifth uh, row. And because this is the single crochet row, now we make chain two. And these chains count as a for double crochet. Now we turn the project and this is how it looks so far. And this is your right side. And uh, now, uh, because you see that our second stitch from the previous row was the front post, double crochet. So now we have to do the exactly the opposite. So into the second stitch, we're going to make the regular double crochet. So now what happens is that you have basically two double crochet, the regular one, but don't worry, it will actually disappear once we're going to start uh, the next rows of the double crochet, because then you will make the front post around either the, this one or that one. I'm not sure right now, but it will, uh, it won't be uh, like visible like that. And now you start with the front post, the next stitch. And now it's pretty easy because now you can see uh, that the double crochet that they're like in the back, which is the regular crochet, uh, regular double crochet from the uh, previous double crochet row. So about around this one, we're going to make that front post double crochet. So now you can see that the double crochet, they are like a behind, not the front. Around them, we will make uh, the front post double crochet. So now we do yarn over and the next one is this one. So I make my front post, pull up a little bit more and finish the double crochet. Now into the next uh, stitch, we make uh, into the single uh, crochet row. The last one we make just the regular double crochet and now again you can see that it's this one the next uh, regular double crochet we're gonna make the front post double crochet and now you can see that the texture is uh, kind of popping up uh, and now into the next stage we're gonna make a regular double crochet and now we make the front double crochet around the regular double crochet <laughs> stage So this is what you're alternating until the end of the row. And basically that's the whole pattern that you're going to continue. And I'll show you uh, for how many rows, because then it's again optional. It depends uh, how many baseball hats you have and you want to hang. So you can also uh, like a customize uh, like based on your need. So. Now I'm about the end. My last stitch is double crochet, which is right here and is the regular one for this row. Now I make chain one, turn the project and now let's do the single crochet in uh, each row. So now basically uh, you uh, you have to uh, you will like repeating your uh, let me think now a little bit the third, four, fifth uh row and six i think two so you're just uh you know that every even number row is the single crochet which is easy and then uh also it depends how you end your double crochet row with the front post double crochet uh because uh, then you're just alternating but then you will you will see uh if you're gonna make uh after the two chains if you're gonna make the regular double crochet or if you're gonna make a front post double crochet so i'm gonna show you right now what i mean it might be a little bit confusing now so now the chain two because now i'm behind my um i just finished my single crochet row so chain two and now you can see this is exactly what, like I, what i mentioned before that now we have two double crochets like next to each other like a regular one so in that case now you know that your second stitch will be front post double crochet because this one is in the back so now this row one two three four five six your seventh row is gonna be that you're gonna be second uh, second stitch is gonna be front post double crochet then the regular one front post 
yeah you will just alternating that until the end of the row then again the single crochet row and then in the next one you will have double crochet into the second stitch the regular one so this is just the two different rows but now you see uh i think that now it's pretty clear um where like a how how to do it because so uh, now you see that this is the two regular ones so whenever you have two regular double crochets next to each other you know that your second stitch will be front post double crochet so i hope it makes sense and this is how you continue for your entire uh pattern so uh just those first like six seven rows are important to mention so now uh, whatever your option is if you're gonna make the 26 uh, chains or the stitches or 36 it doesn't matter so now just continue and uh, in the next shot i'll show you uh how to do the rows how many rows and how to count them All right, so now it's gonna be better for me to explain the rows because this is my uh, my block for my baseball hats and I made it for five of them, so it's pretty long. Uh, and this is also the version with the glasses on my side. Of course, I, it doesn't matter like what it's gonna be on the left side or right side, but uh, basically if I show you, I have like this hat. <laughs> uh, so I'll just keep it, let's say on this side and then uh, for this side it's gonna be uh, hanging uh, my sunglasses so this is the one uh, and uh, so now you can see actually how big it is compared to the baseball hat so the 26 uh, stitches would be just for the baseball hats but if you have 36 which is 10 more stitches then it would be space for the sunglasses so now you can see my stitch markers here so this is where I actually make where I'm gonna join my uh, just the uh, like a just the, the for the holders right. So I have to make just the line uh, okay just one row uh, of the of the stitch what I use for that. I'll show you later and then I'll be attaching that and then I will just slide the baseball head right there. So this is my markers. Yeah, I didn't have uh, <laughs> that many. So I use this um, pin, which is whatever. You can use whatever you want. But this is how it actually looks, the, the texture. I absolutely love it. And uh, now about the rows. So uh, for one head, uh, you would need 13 rows plus 12. So uh if you have let's say more baseball hats like me so it's always like 13 rows plus 12 times three four then it depends how many baseball hats uh you you wanna you wanna make it for so i hope it makes sense and it's 13 uh the first one because i also wanna like attach that um uh crochet uh, like the, the line uh at the double crochet row so now uh when i have 13 which is the double crochet here uh the end of the row and then uh plus 12 and then plus 12 and plus 12 i always end at the double crochet row so now uh also actually how to count so when you go in the back of your project now you can actually kind of see clearly the lines which uh, is like a for the row so the first one you have the double crochet and that this fill one the full one basically it's your single crochet row so it's a one two three now you can see the spaces a little bit because the double crochet is a little bit taller so you can see uh you can you can see uh the double crochet so it's a one two three four five six seven eight uh nine ten eleven twelve thirteen so uh, I would actually recommend you to use the stitch markers so then you can actually you don't have to count it so you have 13 and then from that uh, you start count 12 so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 so you end up at the double crochet row and this this uh, like a piece is for one hat so that's why it's 13 rows plus 12 and then times and then it depends how many times you uh, like that baseball hat. Let's say uh, when, uh, now I have it for five, so let's count with me. So this is one hat, 
second, third, fourth, fifth. But you can see that I also made that 12th row or the 12th rows above because when this is my last one so now i can actually have that line right here and now we will be attaching that wooden uh double so it's gonna be actually the it will not go like over you see otherwise if i would end up here then it would be also the wooden double there and i like it when uh the background or this uh yeah the main panel is all the way behind the head so i hope it makes sense uh now we are so now you made you're at the end of your row which i'm right here and now let's attach your uh, wooden devil all right so now i'm at the end of my last row so this is the 12th row from the uh, like uh, from my uh from my mark so this is uh, exactly what i wanted and now i'll just grab my wooden double and now we're gonna make uh the like slip stitch all around like of course you can have more options i don't like to like uh cut the yarn and put my yarn needle and stuff so i'd rather do it with my hook but of course if you don't like it with your hook that's all right so you can just measure like a long enough yarn where you can then cut it and just make it just like a weave uh, or like just uh, sew it like around with your yarn needle that's the also way or you can just use this way and uh, we're gonna it's gonna be a little bit messy at the beginning but uh, we're just gonna make a slip stitches around the around the wooden devil so how are we gonna do it let me just think a little bit so this is my i think that i have to pull a little bit more uh the loop what i have on my hook and uh, into the next stitch i just insert the hook but it's gonna be around that uh, wooden double just yarn over pull up the loop which a little bit bigger and like a pull through so it's pretty much single crochet around and now this is what you do in each stitch so you always like uh, make around your wooden double you make your like single crochet so again into the next one and then yarn over pull up the loop pull it up a little bit more and now make your single crochet so and then you have to maybe a little bit like slide it to the edge and this is what you do until the end of the row just like that around the wooden double so uh but then don't cut it because then we're gonna make a little um a little like a also for the hanging so then we're just gonna make a little like a chains all the way around and then you can hang that uh baseball hat hanger so now let's start with that so so far it looks like this so you can see that there's a little like a uh, the stitches like above but it's exactly uh, how I want it to be so now just uh, enjoy and continue until the end of your row all around the way of the double all right guys so now I'm about the end so this is my last stitch so this is what I'm gonna do just all around pull out a little bit more so this is my last stitch it's a little tricky but this is how it looks i like the actually uh the end of it how it looks that it's pretty yeah i maybe didn't pull up too too long here so now you can see that it's a little bit like uh maybe it's not like all the way on the top but it doesn't matter that's all right and now what we're gonna do a uh, foundation chain and then we will actually attach it to the to here so above that we can actually hang it hang it hanging on on that uh, on that foundation chain and i would do the same number of the stitches so if you have 26 make 26 foundation chain if you have uh 36 then do the 36 i have 36 so i'm just making it so i have 36 now and what I would do, I would just make a slip stitch above like here. This is the stitch that we made around. So I would just insert the hook into that first one. 
all right and now at the end i will just make the slip stitch so i just insert the hook there and maybe you know what i will just pull the loop over there and then i will make uh another chain which i will secure it and now we can just cut the yarn and pull through and now you can see that you will hang uh you will hang that uh, foundation chain uh like on the let's say on the nail or whatever wherever you want to hanging on on the wall so that that's it uh i will just cut it like later but now just want to show you how it is so this is our back side so now i'll just flip it this is how it looks on the front uh which i actually really really love this technique and uh with the wooden double and this is how it looks so now let's crochet and it's gonna be very easy the lines uh for the baseball heads uh where you actually like uh, slide it on so let's start it with that all right so this is just a simple way so this is what uh, i do and you have to do it as many times as you have it for the like for how many uh, baseball hats you have so i have to do four more but this is only it's very simple actually it's just a simple triple crochet row that's all and you need also same amount stitches as uh, as your baseball head hanger so again it's either 26 or 36 so then you need those uh like a, this number of the stitches also you can notice that i left the tail because with this tail we will uh, attach the the sides to the uh, to the background to the main panel and this one a little bit longer because um, I will attach this side to the uh, to the main panel and then I will will be just weaving uh, weaving uh, like uh, this this tail through like a uh, ten stitches and in ten stitches I will weave in. Uh, like I will just attach this part so it will be like attached also in in this part because it's for my glasses so if but this doesn't apply for those who decided to have just the baseball head hanger so then okay you can just actually have it way shorter tail and you will just attach those edges to the to the sides and if you want to for the sunglasses then you gotta do it uh, with the same way but I'll show you right away how to attach to it and uh, also how to make this row all right so again because it's only a triple crochet row so i would highly recommend to learn how to do the triple uh the foundation triple crochet is the same way as or basically of course there's a little bit slightly difference but uh, it's the same technique as the foundation double crochet row so again feel free to visit the link below where uh, i actually explain this how to do it in the separate video so i would highly recommend it because for this it would be easy peasy of course now with the foundation chain and the triple crochet row separately it's also easy peasy but uh, i think it would be way faster if we would do it all at once anyway i'll start for you with the foundation chain and the triple crochet row separately so what we're gonna do uh because we have uh again it depends uh if uh, you have just the baseball head hanger or with the sunglasses side too so because i have sunglasses uh, side two for them then i'm gonna need to make 38 uh foundation chain if you have just a baseball head then you need 28 so let's start doing it so i'll make my 38 foundation chain all right so now i have 38 foundation chain you get you have either 28 or 38 or of course if you decided to do the foundation triple crochet row then you do the 36 so now uh what we're gonna do we make uh yarn over twice around the hook so now you can see that basically we have like three loops on our hook already and instead into the third we're gonna uh we're gonna insert the hook into our four chain from the hook so again those loop doesn't count as a chain but for whatever it's below so it's one two three four so into the fourth chain we're just gonna insert the hook 
yarn over pull up the loop and we have four loops on our hook and now we're gonna make a yarn over pull up the loop through the first two loops yarn over we have three loops on our hook now yarn over pull up the loop through the first two loops again now we have only two loops and now yarn over pull up the loop through the last two loops so this is our triple crochet and again this uh the skipped three chains also counts as a first triple crochet so don't forget to count that so now again we're gonna make the triple crochet in each chain until the end of the row and that's it also don't uh, don't forget to make a little bit uh, the tail a little bit longer so then you can we uh you can attach uh this row to the to the main panel uh, with this tail so now make uh, your yarn over twice around the hook so you have like three loops on your hook insert the hook into the next chain yarn over pull up the loop we have four loops on our hook yarn over pull up the loop through the first two yarn over pull up the loop through the first two yarn over pull up the loop through the last two so basically three times you make uh, uh you make making the loop through the two loops now again twice around your hook insert the hook into the next chain and we have four loops on our hook and now make it three times through two loops so it's one two and three so this is your triple crochet row and this is how you uh continue until the end of the row and then i will show you how to attach uh the line to the main panel all right so now i just finished uh, the row so now i'm at the end and uh, i'm just at the end like this and now i'll just do yarn over pull up the loop and now you will uh just cut the, the tail and again it could be longer or shorter it depends uh if you have that uh, sunglasses space or not so i just cut the yarn here and pull through so this is how i secure my row all right and now i just realized which uh <laughs> i didn't realize before now you can see this is my uh two rows that i already made and there are two differences <laughs> now you can see that this is uh the row when i did the foundation chain and uh the first row separately so now you can see that we have the ends at the same uh same side so then in that case i guess you don't have to uh have it like that long tail because you have the two tails on one side and this one yeah you can still like you will still do it you just have to uh connect new yarn for this side and this row is when you do uh the foundation triple crochet row all at once so in that case you can uh you do, you have the tails on each side so there's also another benefit why to do the foundation triple crochet but i get it that it's pretty intimidating uh for me it was definitely but once i figured it out i actually cannot do anything else just but that but uh, if you decided to do it separately that's absolutely okay too you would just have to connect new yarn on your yarn needle and uh, do it like separately so this is just the only thing uh what i just wanted to mention And now let's uh, finally uh, grab our background right here. I have the stitch marker here, so now I know where to attach uh, the, uh, my row. So it's gonna be exactly like that. And I just, uh, for this now, I'm using the my triple crochet row, the, double, the foundation triple crochet row. So now I have uh, two tails. Um, in each uh, on each side i will grab my yarn needle so i have it here and i'll attach my first uh yeah my just the one side of it here so now i'll just take my stitch marker and what i'm gonna do i'll just uh, it's gonna be pretty easy so now i'll just align i know that the triple crochet row is a little bit longer but it doesn't matter maybe we can do it over the double crochet row the 13th row and the 14th because the 14th is the single crochet row so let's do it over that so i just align those uh two and i will just uh, like whip it around 
so it's very easy because actually yes now i decided that i will make my sunglasses on the left side so if you decide it on the right side um then bear with me and i'll show you with the other tail uh how to uh how to do it for the sunglasses side so now this is just my and again it's super easy like uh i'll just like whip it around so this is how i attached that uh row and now we're just gonna uh, secure this so i'll just make uh like this loop and make like maybe double knot double knot to secure secure this view in and and now i'll just uh yeah now i just weave in the uh, the yarn the way so it's like invisible so i'll just go in like in the stitches And now just on the way back so it will not like untangle and now on the way back on the way up yeah and i think that it's plenty security and i'll just grab my uh scissors and cut it so this is my first like the side uh that i just attached my one side and now I have to align an exactly same row on the other side. So now I have to just count. Uh, so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh, it should be actually this one. Yes, this one. So now again, I'll just uh, insert the yarn, my yarn needle. So now I'm going to do it basically the same. So I'll just uh, align it with my 13 and 14 throw. So it's actually the same. Uh, and I'll just whip it around. But this one, this is the side for my sunglasses. So I'll show you what's uh, how I'm going to do it. That's why I also left a little bit longer tail on this side. So now i'll just like whip it around so it is attached and now what i'm gonna do so this was my first so now i'll count 10 triple crochet so it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so it's right here so in that case i will just weave in the ends just on that uh, foundation chain like 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 right here and I will not attach to this side, right? Because I need that open. So I'll just go all the way there. Along the bottom foundation chain, chain of the triple row, triple crochet row. Okay, so let's count it again. So this one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's this one. And now I will also count the ten stitches on that background. So it's one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it should be right here. Or maybe we can just do it when we like uh, spread it like that. So whenever you see. And now I will just attach, so I will just uh, uh, insert that yarn needle at the bottom, like at the, at the main main uh, panel. And uh, I will just uh, thread or do whip it with that triple crochet row like that. So now it's attached to it. And now I will go all the, like all through, so I'll just, uh, insert a yarn needle here and all the way uh, th through all the way through just pull it and now at the same stage i'll just like th make it through all the way like back right here so i will basically like attach it so it's gonna be like that little like a pocket let's say and then i'll do it one more and now i'll just 
on the back I will secure it with the double knot again tied it and I have to just take this tail out I don't know what string it is now here it is and now I will just weave in weave in the yarn so like one way there one way back I think that that's actually enough and this is how you will attach uh, the triple crochet row as many times as you have it for how many uh, for how many baseball hats so now you can see that this is you can hang so now let's say I have this one so now I will just make it like here so it will like fall down a little bit but this is uh, when you actually have it on your on your wall so it will it will catch that so this is your first one and now you will put just the sunglasses so i have the sunglasses here i don't have the sunglasses now actually to be honest but this is the idea <laughs> so i have at least my uh the regular glasses so this is the idea that it would be like a hanging like just next to the baseball hats so uh let me finish the whole rows uh because i have it for the five baseball hats and then i'll uh, i'll show you the whole result all right guys so now you can see that i finished my lines right here in each row i just made it for uh for my fifth uh, five uh heads so it's one two three four five also i have these uh, little spots for the for the sunglasses or glasses or anything that you just want to like hang in so it's gonna be just the side of the heads and uh, it's on my left side but of course it's optional what side would you like to if you chose to make uh, the bigger wider uh, hanger so this is it so I hope that you like this pattern I hope that you enjoy that and uh, thank you so much for watching feel free to follow me on my instagram or facebook also feel free to subscribe on my youtube channel uh, where you can uh, you know stay tuned with me uh, for more crochet contents and uh, also you can check my website uh, happyheartsy.com where you can find more uh, patterns for free so thank you so much for watching again and happy crocheting